What's going on? It's Jason Heath here, and we are talking today about a book that I have found so helpful over the years. It is The Tao of Base, and I knew so little about <laughs> Eastern philosophy. When I first picked this up, I called it The Tao of Base. Not The Tao of Base, by the way, Tao. Um, Marcos Machado is the author of this book, and I had him on my podcast almost four years ago, I think, at this point, to talk about this book, and I've been so just amazed at what's in here. Now, Marcos put out a course with Discover Double Base that I did a review of oh, back a few months ago. I'll be sure to link up to that in the description below. And it's just incredible how useful I found that course as well uh, called Integral Technique. And it's just, just really uh, cool to hear Marcos describe these concepts. But I've... I've just also, over the years, really found it helpful to go through the book itself. It's over 200 pages. And I got on the line a few days ago with Marcos to talk about volume two of Tao of Base, which is covering scales, chromatic scales, uh, diatonic scales, arpeggios. That's going to be coming soon, probably this summer. And it occurred to me as I was talking to Marcos that I have never actually done a review of this book. So I thought it'd be helpful to actually go through and take a look at the structure of the book and what I try to do with on the base and hopefully you'll get some ideas for how to use it. Here's a clip from my interview with Marcos about his philosophy of teaching the base, of learning different fingerings on the base, and about the Tao of bass in general. I really like the, the, the concept of uh, interleaving. It's very rare for you to see me uh, repeating something over and over and over with I, I'm more like a I'm a human being and I, I, as a human being I need stimulus so I need different things happening I'm uh, constantly researching I just got uh, a couple months ago a big box of books from uh, Italy rare books by a uh, method by Marangoni uh, Galignani so I'm going devouring that so I do that in the morning I read I do little techniques very little technique because I've done that so much. But uh, if I feel something, you know, I, I, if I feel, oh, my third finger feels a little bit funny or my wrist, then I focus on that, specifically on that. And that's what I recommend my students to, to do with the towel. You know, I had a couple of crazy students that they kind of go the towel, you know, the whole thing. It's incredible. You know, it takes me like, I don't know, six hours to do that. And they are working like, and what I think, there's so much information there. There's, and if you learn, there's a, uh, keep, uh, there's a little secret inside the book. Say you want to improve your shifting, but shifting connecting, so not single notes, but connecting positions. There's a, there's a section there to help with that. You want to improve, like, um, pivot across four strings. There's a section there for that. So it's a, it's a book. It's like the Tao. Yeah. It's like they allow to Tao uh, teaching book. It has no beginning, no end. You can open that book, you know, and you can go to, you know, to poem or, or to, you know, philosophy number 30. And it's fresh, it's new, has no beginning, has no end. And I think that's what the book is. Okay, here's a look at Tao of Base. What a cool book. And it starts off with a really great introduction where Marcus is just explaining the whole philosophy of the book and amalgamating these different approaches like he does. So very, very interesting. And I love these sort of introductions from authors of, well, any type of book, but especially method books like this or technique books or however you want to describe Tao of Base. It's just a really, really useful way to put out this information. So he divides the book into three main sections. It's chapter one, which is using one, two, four techniques. So you first finger, second finger, fourth finger, what we think of as traditional bass technique. And that is laid out in these really cool sort of examples. So uh, he's got these fingering groups and they vary through the chapters. So in chapter one, he's got group uh, zero, group one, group two, and group four. And those correspond to what note you start on, or what finger, rather, you start on. So for the zero group, you're gonna start with the open string. For the first finger group, the first finger, it, you, you get the idea. Mm -hmm. 
Chapter two digs into four finger technique, and that's something that is not necessarily adopted in the bass world universally, or it's definitely not, but it's something that I've been doing ever since I was young, and especially once I get to the D on the G string, that area of the bass, one, two, three, four, feels very comfortable for me. Now, Marcos takes it all over the lower and middle register of the basses in a comprehensive way, which is just something that I love about this book. The second position is about pivoting as well as four finger technique. So Marco starts right here on the D, just like I like to do for these types of exercises. And he starts here and now he's using all four fingers. So my hand, I can basically reach that, but it's a little bit, I don't wanna be stretching. So I'm pivoting just slightly to get these. And I'm really making sure to monitor how my hands are feeling. And I wanna make sure that I'm getting in that zone where I'm pushing myself, like going to the gym, like trying to do an extra couple reps or an extra set, but not hurting myself. And you really wanna make sure that you distinguish between exertion and pain air on the safe side, especially when you're doing something new. David Allen Moore, who has done courses for Discoverable Bass, Los Angeles Philharmonic and University of Southern California, he talks about trying to only do about 10% more maximum a week. At least I think that's what he says, but I follow that advice. I think it's really good. Chapter three is all about thumb position. And so for the groupings for this, he's got thumb, which he has a plus symbol for that, one, two, and three. And again, similar idea, only you have some different intervallic possibilities because you can open and close your hand in a different way in thumb position. And there's so many possibilities he unlocks. And he starts in that traditional spot that I love, right on the octave harmonic, and goes through. And I always try to start slow when I'm doing these and just throw in a couple new ones a day, try to be nice and easy with this, not push myself too hard, but I really find myself creatively inspired after I work on these. So that's just a quick look inside Dow of Bass. I love it, I've been using it for years. Check out links to it in the description below and I can't wait for volume two. If you like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I can't believe I'm saying that like every YouTuber, but please do that. That'd be helpful and we'll see you in the next video.